So my friend Andrew Slack recently posted a link to the New York Times article about a bunch of school districts in America and various places around the world that are eliminating or reducing the amount of homework that is sent home to kids, and I wanted to comment on it. <laughs> At some point in my educational career, a professor said to me that for each credit hour that you are taking in a class, you should be spending at least that many hours at home during the week doing homework. I didn't question the professor's logic then, but I'm certainly questioning it now. Right now in America, students are spending at the very minimum eight to 12 hours every week doing homework. These are students in first and second grade, five, six, seven, eight years old. Kids who by any other right should be out playing during the evening hours. There are also other times where teachers or professors are giving homework and assignments over spring break or over the weekend or various other times where by all rights, it's our time, not theirs. The arguments are often made by educators that there's not enough time in the day to uh, accomplish the things that need to be accomplished in the classroom. So we send kids home with a bunch of busy work to do at home, uh, thus killing their entire childhood uh, with homework. Now I'm not saying we shouldn't assign any homework at all because clearly there's a value in homework or we wouldn't have ever done it in the first place. But how much is too much? And in your opinion, how much is just enough? I don't really have an answer to those questions except that I know for a fact that a one to one hour ratio is way, way too much. Especially for children that spend up to eight hours in school every day. Things like reading a novel for English class are the prime example of a reason we need homework. But I think that, you know, doing 400 math problems is probably a little excessive. If you're one of those teachers who assigns eight hours of homework a night because you feel like you can't teach the things that need to be taught in the classroom, on behalf of your students, fuck you. I know that one of the main mantras of high school and certainly at any college is that they're preparing you for real life. But my question is, when does the homework paradigm ever apply to real life situations? When an architect goes to work for a firm, they go, they work for eight hours, and then they go home. And that's it, they're done. Well, let's take the construction worker. When they go to the construction site, they work for eight to 12 hours or whatever it is that they work, and then they go home. And there's no more construction to do, they just go home. Or me, when I was a restaurant manager, the only work I ever did at home was voluntary work of looking up recipes and creating menus. This was work that I could have done at the office, but I just chose not to. So there are two questions I have for you today. One, did you do a lot of homework when you were a student and what did you feel about it? And two, if you are already out of school, do you have some kind of homework analog that applies to your profession and what is it? I look forward to reading your comments and certainly I look forward to watching your video responses if you choose to make them. I will see you whenever I make a video again, although I'm trying to make a weekly video now. So there you go. For those of you somewhat new, the education system is a hot topic that I love to talk about and I've linked some videos to some more educational rantings that I've done in the past. You guys have a fantastic day.